Well, while you guys were gone, I was putting in a good shift of drinking beer. A lot of magic happened. So I'm on my last one. The cooking is done. We're going to crack this. Hopefully our table doesn't fall apart. And what I'm going to do is bring the magic up here. You can see it. All right. You ready for this? Ah, it's a big pot of food. Don't fall over, table. Okay, we're going to adjust this so you can see it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Still hot. Okay. Ah. So what I did is I added a can of corn, peaches and cream corn for sweetness, more than the sugar. And I added the coconut milk. What else did I add? Corn and rice. So what we're gonna do now is Take our plate. I gotta stir some of that off the bottom. We're going to let that sit for a bit. That's what we got. That's a... What do we do? Grilled curry chicken. Grilled moonshine curry chicken. Started in the fireplace. Blackened. Then finished in a Dutch oven. Man. Oh. Man. Let's let that cool down and have a beer. Because I don't want to fry my face off. I have a bunch of blisters on the top of my mouth. Gross. That sounds like a 10th Street hooker. Jesus. Okay. Oh, let that definitely cool. I can see the meat pulling from the bone. Yeah. Corn. What do we put in that dish? Started it with grilled the chicken. We sprinkled some curry on the chicken. Threw it on a grill in the fireplace, put butter in the Dutch oven, threw the chick, transferred the chicken to it, or it all almost dumped in the fireplace. That. Then we added onions, garlic. We toasted chili peppers, tied peppers in there, in there, crushed them, diced them, threw them in. Cinnamon, sugar, turmeric, or however you say it, turmeric, turmeric. I don't know. Does it really matter? There's a billion languages here. Does it matter if I say it right in English or not? Uh, smoked paprika. Garlic salt. Lemon. Pepper. Man, come on, brain. Curry powder, obviously. I said ginger. I think I said it. Beer. We doused some beer. We doused some moonshine in there. With it all cooked down. You know, I probably could have added dry mustard. Nah, I don't know. Let it all cook down. And then uh, I cooked down for about 40, 50 minutes. Added coconut. No, about 30 minutes. Added coconut milk. Cooked that down for another 30 minutes. Added the corn. Peaches and cream corn. Added the rice, cooked that for 20 minutes, took it off, let it rest for about 10 minutes on the wood pile. And then uh, now we're just letting it cool down and we're going to have at her. 
but she looks a little mighty hot. Let's see here. Maybe we can try some rice. Let's get into this. I'm starving, man. I'm only using this stuff because I can just burn it in the fireplace after. I'm lazy. I don't want to wash utensils. Screw that. I'm going to be honest with you. This really sucks. I'm going to tell you. Or if it needed more of this or more of that. Remember, I threw in too much ginger. And I'm not ginger. What? Is, cinnamon. I put in cinnamon too. I put in too much cinnamon. I had to dig some out. So I hope it's not too much of a cinnamon bite. That's perfect. So it's a slow heat with those uh, just a tiny. Oh, that's perfect. For people that don't like super spicy foods, like I like spicy foods. But this would be like a between a, a mild and a medium spiciness. Oh, it's, it's a perfect, just a slow come on heat. And it's you actually it's not overpowering of garlic or onions or it's nothing overpowers itself. If that makes sense, it all just blends together good. Oh man, oh man, the rice isn't mushy. I'm not using my fingers, that's what this is for. Oh, that's just so, so perfect. That's just perfect. Oh, I, I might prefer this over a stew, this curry stuff, I'm telling you. India got it right. Oh, yeah, man. I wonder what it would be like cooking lamb in this. i got to buy some lamb and try it. It's just a warm feeling right here. It's just like a, like it took a hot blankie and just put it there. Just mild. Okay. Let's try this chicken. Peeled away from the bone. Nice. Remember I black charred it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's so tender. It's just tender juice and the heat went into the chicken. The heat from the chilies went into the chicken. Oh yeah. Look, look, look at this. Oh, my daughter's going to love this. Bones. My daughter's going to love this. Get your cartilage on the edge. Yeah, I did the dishes. Like a piece of chicken. Eat primal. Scoop up your last bits. I'll finish your cartilage. Last bits of your dish onto your piece of chicken. 
어. Cooking the old way. The flavor of the wood. Our Dutch oven. Bones and fat. Bones, fat, salt. And all these curries and other spices. I'm telling you. Let's finish the dishes. Honey, I did the dishes. They're done. Love you too. Yeah. Okay. Now, I get to just do this. Ah, oh. pick my teeth, chicken in the teeth. Ah, oh. holy cow. That was one of my better dishes. I will uh, definitely be doing that again. That was, like I said, I don't overpower the onion or garlic or even the cinnamon. Everything just blends in in that slow heat. Damn, I didn't oversalt it. That dish is magic. I'm going to call that magic curry. Magic curry. Magic curry moonshine. Hmm. Oh, what a comfortable. Just a comfortable heat. Oh. oh. I'm going to eat way more. I'm not going to do it in front of you guys, but in about an hour, half of that pot's going to be gone. <laughs> Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's going to happen. Oh, that was delicious. I'm glad cooking takes time and effort and love. I always say cooking is like a relationship, right? You got to put the effort into it. Otherwise, it'll just turn to shit. And you got to pay attention to it. Or otherwise, it'll turn to shit. So, most definitely. Okay, guys. Gals. Whoever. Next time. Thanks for hanging in the woodshed. The best place on earth. 